Hey everybody, welcome to camp. Noel First Light Outdoors. Um, we're just going to show you around our camp here. We're on the Mississippi River duck hunting this weekend. Um, as you can see, we got a few different tents going here. This little tent here right to your right is actually, we have this one set up. This is the Cabela's Outback tent. Um, it's a larger one of the two models. Great little tent. Um, come on over here. We're, we're actually using this as our drying tent. We got a little little heater going in here it's plenty warm and we're drying out our waders and we got some socks and stuff hanging up in there um, so that's what kind of what we're using this tent for and let's head over to the camp kitchen here show this to you quick we just got done making lunch and so we just got cleaned up here but this is our camp kitchen. I do have, we do have screen walls for this tent from the summertime, but this time of year the solid walls come in real handy to keep the wind out and, and also with the stove going and stuff and here it stays nice and warm. So this is our camp kitchen. Serves us very well. And then right behind you is the Cabela's Alacnac. Um, I'm sorry, this is the ISQ. It's part of the Alacnac series, but this is the ISQ, the individual sleeping quarters. Actually, let's um, let's walk around to the just kind of do a walk around here of the tent. We'll show it to you from the outside first. Here's two of the six pods that each person sleeps in. That's the ISQ, the individual sleeping quarters. Um, this side of the tent only has a two pods because the stove, obviously, you can see the stove pipe coming out there is in the center there. Um, come around this side, we got one here on the end. But then on the end here, you also notice that we have a, a window. Um, they're real nice because they got the vinyls on them, so you can let the sunlight in. Um, you can open up the vinyl to where it's screen, and when it's warm out. Um, great feature. Also on the, you can see here, the when you have the stove on, there's this protective fly that's got the um, protective material that prevents it from burning if, if embers fall out of the stove pipe or anything. So, nice feature. We're on around to this side. And here's the remaining three pods. So, this tent sleeps six people in pods, and you even have more room inside the tent if you needed to put somebody inside. But you can also see that this side has two two of the same windows up there so all right let's check out the inside we'll start right here with the vestibule this is a add-on that you can do and the, the tent actually comes with two pods when you if, if you look at buying one of these tents it comes with two pods it does not come with the vestibule um, it does not come with the roof panel it does not come with the the uh, ground tarp ground cloth that goes inside the tent the floor liner that's what it's called but the vestibule here is a nice additional add on to the tent. Um, it can be open, you can use the corners as a door, you can use the entire front as a door. Um, so based on your wind, this is how we set it up for today. So come on in. We cut a piece of carpet to fit in here, so kind of collect some of the dirt and so it doesn't all get in the tent. So nice big windows. Now these windows don't have the vinyl, but it's got the no CM mesh, good ventilation, good windows. Pop this open here. Good quality material in these tents. They really, really hold up well. Good durable products. Come on in. This is kind of a mess in here, but we've been camping out now for a couple days. Um, this tent can be, you can either use the poles that you see right here, or you can suspend it um, from a tree. But um, this is it. You can see the, this is an empty pod, just so you can see how it looks. The back panel in here does open up for, for additional ventilation. Each pod has that. Each pod has got additional vents up here. They're all closed now because it's getting down into the 20s at night. So we're trying to contain as much heat as possible. Um, so most of them end up looking kind of like this. Got sleeping bag at the end closed. You can close the pods off. There's a screen and its own door and then the wall of the tent door. So 
these pods are actually designed to where you can go out and set them up on their own and use them as a solo tent type of thing. So, nice tent. Um, this is our um, cylinder stove and with pellet burner attachment. It performs very well. We use um, softwood pellets, uh, pine pellets. We found that the, the super premium pellets seem to work the best. Last night we had no issues. We started at about, I don't know, 8 o'clock at night. And actually, if you look down in here, that's how many pellets, we, what we got left after running all night. So it's just a little bit down the bottom there. So we'll top this back off tonight and get her fired up. But great stove, keeps us nice and warm. That's our tent. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day. God bless.